All right, we are at chemo treatment number two. Uh, we are munching on goodies from April Lefru, who brought me all kinds of breakfast goodies, and thank you. And here's my Nancy. She's with me. She's my designated driver. <laughs> and my, my rock and my support system. And so we are waiting for the doctor to come in. Uh, we made, we had a little goof up last time. We never saw a doctor when we were supposed to. Um, but we're gonna see him today and then off we go. Welcome to the chemo world. So I'm back to the cap. And they put another tight strap on it today. This is an extra. Tighten it even more than last time. And so I have this is my trick. I'm gonna pull it and I can take a breather and then I'll be back. And then I can t pull it down and take a breather. I'm gonna do that. All right, so we're cooling. We haven't reached zero degrees yet, but brain freeze is starting. Well, hi, it's Yasmin. I am back from my chemo treatment yesterday, and it's day two of my second chemo. And um, the doctor said I look great. My coloring was great. Uh, my lab work, my blood work was wonderful, looking strong. He asked what my workout regimen was like, and I was kind of like, I don't really like to do cardio, but I do like to do pure bar. And I love to do ballet bar workouts like three, four times a week. He's like, all right, we'll keep doing that. Um, he did mention that I was gonna get lines in my fingernails at this point. And um, he actually said the Dignicap's working because he said by day 18 of your first chemo treatment, you will have zero hair, zero. He said, gone. So I was like, is this thing working? And he was like, yes, it's definitely working because you would have no hair by now. Okay, well, that's good to know, right? Um, so I, I said, all right, let's keep doing the Dignicap. If I can keep what I have now, I'll do that. But I could not keep this hair long, guys. Like. It's so not worth it. It was so not watching. I mean, it still continues to fall out and it will, the most shedding he said will happen between chemo treatments one and two, but I could not handle it at its length. It had to go short. And honestly, I'm so happier for it. I have no regrets. I'm a happy girl. And, and you guys sent me so many messages saying how great I looked in it. So I'm gonna take that and feel good about that. <laughs> so, um, Dignicap, Oh my God, this, it was even worse this time. And I think it's because I have less hair on my head. So the cap is sitting closer to my scalp and it, just everything was worse. My brain freeze was worse and the intensity and the chin strap. I don't know what the heck, the nurse put it on so tight. So I had her adjust it twice and she put an extra strap around the top here because there was a bubble and it wasn't contacting my scalp. After a while, I was like, just take that strap off. I don't care if I lose hair there. like. I'm miserable here, sitting here, and miserable for what? For hair, I don't really care. So, we tried a new, a new drug. It's an anti-emetic, which is an anti-nausea drug. It's supposed to be the miracle drug for chemo patients. It just came out. It is no miracle drug for me because I feel nauseous. And it's not working, so I had to call the doctor and get me some different meds to work because I already feel crummy, I'll be honest. Um, and it's... <laughs> And my sick day is supposed to be tomorrow and I already feel crummy today. So we're trying to work on that right now. I wanna show you something. I wanna show you my bill. Okay, do you wanna hear, look at this. Okay, this is my first chemo, my first chemotherapy. Do you see that? 17, over $17,000. I don't know if you can read that. $17,898. Oh my God, thank God for insurance. That was my first chemo treatment. That's drugs, visit, infusions. Oh, and this little guy? Oh, the Nulasta? That's what I'm wearing here. This is about to blow up, actually. You see that? It's blinking fast, meaning it's about to inject medication into me through a catheter, which, by the way, is supposed to increase my what blood cell count? Blood cell count, I'm not even speaking right. $6,800 for that little device. That's what I'm getting billed for. Crazy. So, 
on what I'm eating now. Usually it's hair. But um, there, what's on the menu for dinner tonight at the Right Back House is homemade chicken noodle soup. My husband's so fabulous. He's a fabulous cook, if you didn't know. And that's what's on the menu. Like It's a really beautiful like goodies full of veggies, broth. He put a little tomato on the broth and with an egg noodle, and it's going to be yummy. So um, I just got a new anti-medic prescribed, and I'm waiting for that to work so that I can enjoy and put a little food in my body today. So, all right, that's the latest and the greatest for chemo treatment number two, and uh, we'll see how things go. But, you know, I'm always moving forward. I'm always going. I'm always soaring. Bye.